If you love watching glamorous videos and would like to be notified every time we drop a new one, please bash that bell icon below. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very deep plum eye. Uh, it's another thing that I think a lot of people uh, associate smoky eyes only with browns or blacks or greys or kind of neutrals. So let's wing it a little bit. So uh, I'm going to start with concealer or foundation on the eyes. Look, as in I'm going to use a fair amount of the pigment. So the focus points here will be blending. So although it's not going to be cakey, it's going to be more heavy than normal because I really want the pigment to kind of get down there. Make sure that you get color into the inner corner as well. So while you're working on it, make sure you blend also. And remember, lines will always form. So never panic about that and be patient. Don't powder the under eye too much because you you still have to do the foundation so you don't want it to set too much. I'm just doing it ever so lightly under the eye. So I'm doing a smoky eye. Now the thing is, uh, if you notice, again like I said, always tailor a makeup to suit your individual features. In her case, her eyes are downward sloping towards the ends. So what I want to do is give it a really attractive flick and pick her entire face up. So I'm starting at the base of the eye because I feel this always gives me an idea of how far I can go in terms of lifting. So I've roughly given myself an area which I will cover in the deepest colors. Quickly, I'm going to blend that. The focus is to use softer brushes so you don't get very harsh lines. And smoky eyes are a favorite no matter where you take them, where you wear them, what occasion you wear them at. So I thought this would be an interesting take on it. So I'm just doing a skeletal frame on both the eyes and then I'm going to proceed with actually applying the eyeshadow. So now I'm going to go in with the real colour as in the real eyeshadows. I want a bit of contrast here in this inner corner of the eye. Now the same at the outer corner, I'm just packing on a deep color where I previously applied the liner. Now I'm just going to blend off the lines as I go. It's becoming a gradient of color right now. This is just a different take because I'm also going to add a celebratory uh, touch of some kind of shimmer right in the center, which is where I've left the blank spots. As you can see, at the seam of her skin and the color, I'm going to use a nude. And it's pretty quintessential for a smoky eye to look seamless. Uh, the lesser lines visible, the better a smoky eye is. I'm going to keep the look quite subtle and therefore I'm going to, inside her eyes, instead of using black, which is way more intense, I'm going to use a metallic brown. So now I thought for a bit of fun, uh, we could use a pigment just to bring out a little spotlight on the darkness. I'm literally creating a band of light bang on her eyeball. I won't blend that off too much because that's not the point. I actually want it to look quite, um, quite there, quite visible to blend too much of that but just the seams as in wherever the pigment ends I'm just going to tie it in with a matte color so it looks like it's blended so it's a bit of a cheat I'm just going to give the lashes a good curl again I'm going to use a more intense mascara than I did earlier. 
only because I want the eyes to grab all the attention and drama possible. I'm going to keep the skin quite soft and pretty uh, because I don't see the need for too much here. I'm going to try and keep this look as soft as I can but more matte because I want the eyes to have some kind of drama. I am actually keeping it really light, largely only concealer. I don't see the need for a great amount of base here. So just kind of evening out any dullness on her skin and that will be all. Just a small bit of powder. Again, I'm not going to overdo the powder either because I want the face to look quite natural. It's so just going to get that completely matte. So I'm just going to finish off this look really quickly by just grooming the eyebrows. I do want to fill in a few of those empty uh, spots so it all looks to uh, good together. Not uh, changing the shape or anything. So I'm not going to do a very heavy blush, I'm just going to actually shape the face a little bit from the sides and leave it at that. I don't want too much more colour and there's uh, plenty going on already. So literally giving her a bit of colour in the corner of her face almost, not going down to her cheek so much. I am actually going to use a bit of a nude lipstick, look up. So you see there's so many ways in which you can put things to use that you already have in your kit and this is one of the many and it's a sweet take on our smoky eye. I hope you enjoyed this video.